Hey, IFBB Pro, Johnny O. Jackson here, and you're now watching The Hardcore Truth with Johnny O. Jackson, and I am Johnny O. Jackson. So welcome in, everybody, to this week of The Hardcore Truth with Johnny O. Jackson. This week, I'm going to touch on focus, on focus in general, having focus in the gym, having focus in your life, period. You know, and saying this, I have to say, this trait, we all have it. It's not anything special. It's not anything new to acquire. No, we all have this focus unless you've been diagnosed with not being able to um, focus or don't have a long attention span. Now, if you've been diagnosed, then what can I say? But if you haven't, then I have to say we all have that talent. We all have that trait of focus. We just decide where we want to use it. You know, I have to say I'm married. So people that are married, you wouldn't be married unless you was able to focus on your wife and your wife needs, you know, um, same thing with just a girlfriend, you know, you wouldn't have this girlfriend if you wasn't able to focus on what to say, right, what to do right by her, you know, so you can have this relationship. It's the same thing. Simple. This is, these are the simple forms. Um, even job, you wouldn't have the job that you have if you wasn't able to focus on the interview part of it to be able to get hired onto the job. So we all have this trait. We all can focus. We just decide what we want to focus and when we want to focus ourselves to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. Now, we know as bodybuilders, we have to be selfish. There's no end ifs buts about it we have to be selfish you know um luckily for me i was able to separate my selfishness from my family because even the beginning of me wanting to become a bodybuilder i had a family i had a girlfriend turn into my wife and we had two children so you know i had to take care of them i only could be so selfish you know uh every day um but i had to figure out and find out a way of to separate being selfish and doing the things that I have to do to accomplish my goal in bodybuilding, you know, um, then I had to find out, you know, how not to be selfish for my family, to take care of my family, because ultimately they're first, not me. But like I said, you know, I had to figure out how to, to separate my selfishness um, but that's one of the things that you must have is you must be able to be selfish in this bodybuilding realm. You know, you have to you, be, you have to be that because to accomplish anything, you have to be selfish or focus on yourself. You know, we want to talk about the gym ultimately. So people go into the gym and, you know, everybody's worried about what everybody's doing. Even the guys that I would say is majorly focused, they even, you know, they're a guy, another guy could come up and set up a camera to film himself. And that guy who's who we consider the most focused in the gym will hesitate. Look at the guy setting up the camera, shake his head or, you know, probably make some comment in his head or some people just come out with it and like, really? <laughs> what are you doing like that's the most important thing here in the gym is set up and you know film yourself but the whole thing is you don't know what they're doing it for this can be an ambassador this could be um you, you know someone with a contract you know under a supplement company under a clothing company that has to film themselves you know uh to get paid so that's why you don't when you're in a gym you don't worry about anyone setting up a camera or you don't worry about what other people are doing or what other exercises do people are doing or he's doing his exercise wrong. This is the way, you know, he should do it um, because that's what's in your mind. Um, because not necessarily everything works the same or not everybody works the same. Sometimes you got to do something a little different. It may look a little quirky, but it's what works for you and your body to progress and what you're trying to do with it. OK, so, you know, you guys really don't know what's going on when you're looking around the gym and, you know, you want to 
a judge and, you know, decide whether people are doing things right or wrong. You know, when you're doing that, the worst thing you're doing for yourself is becoming unfocused and not not accomplishing what you need to accomplish as soon as you walk in the gym. As soon as you walk in the gym, it should be should bring that selfishness you have into the gym with you. Once you get into the gym, you turn that selfishness into focus. Who cares what's going on around you? Who cares what anybody doing? Who cares who's yelling? Who cares who's lifting the most weight? What you need to focus on is, I hope you would focus on your weaknesses. So then you work on them to bring them up to match your strengths, your body part strengths. And then when you do that, man, you're really creating something awesome within yourself. You're really developing your own brand you're de developing your own style and that's what we want because once you start doing that and you start seeing that you start getting motivated um and you get motivated because of the changes you're making in your body because then you're focused on making those changes and then the other people who are unfocused that are watching you actually you're motivating them because there's always someone watching you jim I always say that there's always someone watching you and no matter if you're IFBB pro or you're a novice, NPC novice, you know, you can inspire someone around you by the actions that you take. So always remember that. Carry that also. Besides the selfishness, selfishness in the gym, take that reality in there also that you can be the leader. you the one that can inspire. you the one that can set the standard, you know, not only for yourself, but for the gym as well. And once you start getting that focus in the gym and start getting those really great workouts, then that can branch out into the kitchen, you know, because of course, ultimately you want to change yourself. And it's not one thing is multiple phases that help you change your physique into what you want it to be. So like I said, this can reach into the kitchen to where you start making sure you get those calories in that you need to recover after those awesome workouts because you know you can have you can work out seven days a week twice on sunday and get great awesome heavy pr workouts and your body won't do anything different or won't change at all unless you're feeding it correctly getting the correct amount of calories in so it can change it so it can recover so it can get stronger so remember that and then also once you start doing this and that physique start changing, then that will go back into the gym, into the posing room, you know? And so while you're looking at your physique, you start creating the poses that you need to create to look, make you look the best. That's what's important too. Cause you know, everybody focus on, you know, the top pros and their posing routines and you know, how they hold certain poses. And it's like, yeah, I'm a fan of them too. And I think they look awesome also, but not necessary. Is it going to look good on you? So you need to take the focus that you use, to, that intense focus that you use to look at your, your um, favorite bodybuilder and use that focus on yourself in the mirror while you create those poses. It's okay because you need to find out what, what pose is what, you know? So you need to follow someone. You need to watch someone. But then once you do and figure out each pose, then you need to create your yourself, you know, your pose. You know, you get in the double bicep, you know what I mean? Do you look good in a little bit of an angle? You know what I mean? Uh, did, does it look better straight on? You know, you got to figure that out and make these poses yours. Front lat spread, you hit that. Do you look good with that one leg up like uh, Dorian Yates used to do? Or do you want to put your thighs close together and, you know, have that Ronnie Coleman um, lat spread look? You got to figure that out. But, you know, until you get that the focus on what's important and what you need to really focus on to become that athlete, to become the bodybuilder you want to become, you know, it's all a dream. You know, it's all fantasy but it's up to you to turn the fantasy in the reality, you know? And like I said earlier on and in the beginning, we all have this trait. 
You know, we all have that trait of focus, you know, to help ourselves become a better version of ourselves if that's what we want. We also can become a worse version of ourselves if we don't focus in life and we don't, you know, focus to accomplish positive things in life. I also have to say you must stay focused and must stay steady with your own plan. You know, of course, plans evolve and you adjust accordingly to what you run into problems or even if positive positives, you may have to change your plan because you never thought you would get to where you were getting as fast as you did. So you have to adjust good way, bad way, you know, but you got to stay focused, stay steady. And saying this, um, I had a conversation with a friend of mine and um, he had he won uh, a novice show, um, got nationally qualified, ready to go to the nationals, um, really enthusiastic about it. Um, you know, a really great competitor, really great athlete and lifter. Um, but you know, he start he befriended a few guys who already had their pro cards and been competing for a while and, you know, interacting with them and, you know, training a little bit with them and, you know, becoming buddy buddies with them. And he started to lose, you know, where he was compared to where they are, you know, and I start listening to him talk and listening to some of the things that he was doing and he was slacking a bit on you know his nutrition slacking a little bit on uh the consistency uh not with being in the gym but the not being so consistent with you know coming every day you know um maybe it, it was he had a reason for it but it was like no matter what's going on you get in the gym and you get the work done you know you don't uh, say I'll do it tomorrow for what you can do today, you know, in the gym. I I totally believe that you get it done. I don't care if you got to go in midnight and get it done. You go in midnight and get it done on that day. You don't wait till tomorrow to get it done. Anyway, let me get off that soapbox and uh, continue on. So, you know, I had to have him have an honest, you know, conversation with him and let him know like, hey, man, you know, I'm starting to see that uh, the heart you presented to me last year is it the same one this year you know um the focus you know the drive you know that eagerness in your eye you know you talk about it the same but the actions that you are showing definitely isn't the same and for you to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish you got to get back focus again whatever you need to do if you got to take a step back if you got to go in the closet by yourself and have a conversation with yourself no matter what it is you need to get it done because like i said what i saw in you last year i don't see this year you have the same physique and have the same potential but you got you don't have the same mindset per se to where you're racing and hungry and you know ready to do whatever it takes to get that achieve that pro card you know and he actually um agreed with me and said that you know he felt himself a little bit slacking here and there a little bit and uh taking for granted you know um his genetic gifts of you know looking like he has the potential to turn pro this year you know and i said you know you can have all the potential in the world but if you don't put that work ethic with it it doesn't mean a damn thing you know so Guys, remember, stay focused, stay steady. If you're focused on yourself, then you really can't go wrong. You know, even if if you decide to do something wrong within your focus, you know, once you you meet that road or meet that difficulty, you realize you have to adapt, you know, change a bit, and then you move forward, you know, not get to a sticking point and then just collapse and give up, you know? And that's what happens when you don't have that focus, you know, to get over the hump. I am Johnny O. Jackson. This is the Hardcore Truth with Johnny O. Jackson. Thank you, Generation Iron. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my little tidbit on focus. Let me know what you think by giving me some comments. Also, share, like, 
Let me know what you want me to talk about. See you next time. A little new pose for you.